I am proud to stand before you today and I want to thank the governor uh, and our legislative staff, the sponsors, the department and all advocates who fought for this critical legislation in protecting women, children and families. Our, my bill AB 557, it, once it's enacted, low-income women fleeing abuse will have one more path to escape violence. In 2014, over 20,000 survivors and their children received emergency shelter and domestic violence programs in California. According to the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, these programs provided over 600,000 beds. Still, far too many families with children remain on a wait list for a bed at a domestic violence shelter, simply because they, the, the need is greater than the available shelter space. Well, while there remains much to be done to ensure survivors of domestic abuse that they can avoid violence and are given the opportunity to thrive, AB 557 will make several helpful changes to the CalWORKS program to improve outcomes for parents and children fleeing abuse. Most significantly, AB 557 will require that temporary hotel vouchers be provided to applicants fleeing abuse and that each applicant and recipient who is a survivor of domestic violence be provided with information about available services. AB 557 also requires that we st start tracking the important information about applicants who have experienced domestic abuse. As chairwoman of the Assembly Human Services Committee, I am committed to continuing this work so that one day we can say that no California will, Californian will be forced to endure abuse because they cannot afford to escape it. AB 557 will not only help people escape abuse, in the months and years to come, but it also sets the stage for this ongoing work. And for this reason, I am immensely proud to be the author of this bill and grateful to the governor for his signature today. Thank you.